Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Today, I'm thrilled to be in Atlanta, Georgia in our brand new, gorgeous, ginormous dealership. We can store 300 coaches in this beautiful facility. This is my favorite time because I get to introduce the new model year products. So today we're gonna go over the 2018 Integra Aspire. As you all know, Integra is the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. As with any house, the foundation is the most important part. And the foundation on the Tegra Aspire is the Spartan K2 chassis. In my opinion, Spartan is the industry's best diesel motorhome chassis. From its superior ride and better handling, if you've ever test driven different coaches, you will know exactly what I mean. You will immediately feel the difference of the smoother, safer ride. For over 30 years, Spartan has been building motorhome chassis. From its first one in 1986, it has specifically designed and custom built motorhome chassis, a practice that is unique to the industry. Integra only uses the best products. They use Sickens paint, and this coach has three coats of clear on it. It also has the 3M protective film all the way the, across the front cap. Notice the beautiful chrome mirrors. They are heated and internally controlled and you have the side view camera in, the, in each mirror so you can see down the full length of the coach while you're driving. Spartan was the first to put independent front suspension in a Class A motorhome. The Aspire comes standard with independent front suspension. For those of you that aren't sure what that is, if you have a solid axle, if you go over a harsh bump, the whole coach is going to fill that bump. With independent front suspension, that the side of the coach where the bump is, so say it's on the left side, it's going to fill that bump and absorb the shock rather than the whole coach, giving you a smoother ride. Now one of the huge, huge additions for 2018, everyone's been asking for this, Integra listened and they went from the Goodyear tire to the Michelin tire. So we have Michelin 315s in the front and Michelin 295s in the back. Noted the flush mounted electric slides on the Aspire. Also, people ask me all the time if you, the, you do levels first, put your levelers down, or slides out. On the Integra, make sure you put your slides out first, then levels down. When you're ready to leave the campground, levels up, slides in. We also have the dual pane tinted windows throughout the coach. Also notice the LED lights along your power door awning and the full length of your Girard integrated awnings. The Girard integrated awning comes standard with one awning on the Aspire. At National Indoor RV Centers, we always order our Aspires with both uh, Girard awnings. So that way you have awning the full length of the coach. Now on the Aspire, the 40 plus length coaches have a 150 gallon fuel tank. That's huge. Along with another addition for 2018, the fuel cap tether. Yay, aren't we happy? <laughs> no one's gonna leave their fuel cap at the, at the gas station again. So that's a big feature. On the 40 foot models, we have the 100 gallon fuel tank. On to our basement area. All the basement area is carpeted, insulated, and heated. We have one tin outlet here. We have our pass-through slide-out tray, so you can access this from either side of the coach. Here we have our extra folding chairs for our dinette. And if you look in here, you'll see the X bracing. We have that vertically and horizontally 
throughout the coach. That's what gives the stability to the chassis. So it does all the work, not the house. We have our exterior entertainment center with the Samsung TV and the Samsung sound bar in place of the JBL sound bar for 2018. Now, another new feature that you're going to love is the fact that this not only pulls out, but it tilts as well. So you can make sure that you get the best picture without a lot of glare on your TV. Again, tons of storage space. Look at the height of the storage space. Again, all carpeted and we have the uh, vacuum system here and an outlet so you can vacuum your storage area as well. This is in the inside of the coach also. Now, in 2017, they moved all the batteries, the, the house batteries to the center of the coach and they made them the L16 batteries. So two L16 batteries come standard. If you want, you can option for two more. So you could have a total of four, which is what we did at National Indoor RV Centers on this coach. For those of you that aren't fortunate enough to store with National Indoor RV Centers, where we keep your coaches plugged into 50 amp service at all times, we have easy power disconnects so you can shut everything down to store your coach. Integra has added a manual disconnect lever to, for the inside of your coach. So down behind this panel, you have the yellow lever, which disconnects all power to the coach. You also have another level um, inside the coach at the doorway and then at the driver's seat. Here, we have the ability to disconnect all power to the coach. If we are not fortunate enough to have you as one of our storage customers at NIRVC, where we keep you plugged in to 50 amp service at all times, when you go to store your coach, you will want to disconnect all power to the outside of your coach. Behind door number five, <laughs> we have our fresh water tank. Now this view here lets you see what level of water you have in here. We also have a gravity fill. Now on the other side of the coach, we're gonna have our fresh water tank fill that's pressurized, but some of our customers like to uh, clean out their tank with a little bit of bleach. And the only way to do that would be through this gravity fill. I've also seen some of my customers take Velcro and hang some of their hoses and different things. Use this space, I know it's not a lot of space, but you can use that for storage. I just wanna distinguish between the lights here. So the white light here is our docking light, which is gonna help us when we pull into a campground at night so that we don't hit that big rock or the picnic table. And the yellow light are our marker lights. Here is our DEF tank. So this is a dual fuel um, filled DEF, so we can do it from passenger side or driver side, which makes all the truckers really happy. Here are our chassis batteries, and we have my favorite button, is the power engine door lift. So I just press that and voila, engine door comes up with no wrestling. All right, now for some guy talk. The Spire is powered by the Cummins ISL turbocharged 450 horsepower engine, Allison six-speed transmission. Uh, so you have 450 horses pushing you down the road and you have 280 horses pulling you back when you put on your engine brake. You can see that the engine compartment is insulated. This is a big deal. So during the summer, like right now when I'm sweating because it's getting kind of hot outside, you're going to be able to cool your coach easier on the inside. In the winter months, you're going to be able to keep it warmer easier on the inside. Also, we have the engine uh, block heater. They've added a new uh, waterproof or you know weatherproof cover here. And you have two 110 outlets. 
So on those cold winter mornings, just simply plug in your engine block heater, and then you've got an extra outlet, outlet if you need that as well. Now I know what you really are waiting for is a uh, towing capacity here. So you have, you can tow 15,000 pounds with the Aspire. What does that mean to you? So you've got your 5,200 pound Jeep Grand, Grand Cherokee or your say 7,500 pound Chevy Suburban. You can easily fat, flat tow either one of those or you can flat tow a 6,000 pound stacker trailer, triple axle, and you still have 9,000 pounds left for all your toys. The Aspire has a side mounted radiator. This is a huge deal. First of all, Spartan was the first to put a side mounted radiator in a Class A motorhome. What's significant about the side mounted radiator? First of all, it's much easier to service the engine because the radiator is here and not in the back of the coach. Also, when it's in the back of the coach, you're sucking in the hot exhaust and all the dust that flies up in the back of the coach. When it's on the side, you're bringing in cleaner and cooler air to your engine. New for 2018, I know I hope I don't get in trouble for this comment, but they've taken the locks off the macerator stinky slinky door and put them on the deaf doors on both sides of the coach and a galvanized steel door instead of that little flimsy thing that they had before. Here we have the little door for our stinky slinky and you can see that they've reinforced the hose. So there's been, there were some issues with that in the past, no problems anymore. On to our wet bay here. You can see that it's nicely illuminated because we have a light switch. It's really nice. We have the sea level two tank monitor system. So you've got this outside on the coach. You also have that inside the sewage holding tank valve and the wastewater holding tank valve. We get the macerator on off button. Here we have our lever for um, to fill the fresh water. We'll turn it horizontally to hook up to city water. We'll leave it vertical. We have our sewer flush so we can hook up water to that so we can wash out our black tank when necessary. We have the fresh water hose here so you have to push that to release it and then to retract it. Love any power hose, we like that. Um, paper towel holder, soap dispenser, and behind door number, I don't know, seven, eight, what are we on? <laughs> I lost count. We have our macerator, and we also have a manual bypass for that in case we ever have a problem with that. But the macerator basically um, takes your black tank and grinds it up like a garbage disposal and then shoots it out. We have the water filter here and we have the little arm that we can easily remove that, replace that. And then we have our nice shower hose. It's not wussy anymore, it's pressurized and we have hot and cold water. People ask me all the time, what are these pipes for? So this is to the diesel aqua hot, which is behind this door. And we have our uh, 50 amp shore power cord, he cord, cord here. Sorry, I can't talk. And we have that a release and uh, retract button for that as well. We have 110 outlets, our diesel aqua hot, and our SureGuard RV power tr protection transfer switch. Here again, you can see the X bracing once again. Look at that huge storage area. Here we have our pass-through tray, so we can easily, just like I did on the other side, pull that out and have access to all of our goods without having to crawl underneath our basement, in our basement space. More storage. And then we have an extra door in case we want to store an extra stinky slinky, slinky? <laughs> and no lock necessary. Here we have our dual fuel fill so you can fill that again from the driver's side or the passenger side and it's tethered. Gotta love that. Docking lights and here's our access to the battery cables. So Integra is one of the few manufacturers that I know of that actually has an area if you're backed into a campground and you can't get to the back of your coach and your batteries are dead for some reason, you 
can jump your coach from the front as well. So that's going to save you a lot of money and not having to call out a mobile service tech to help you. You also have the release for the generator in the front of the coach. Behind our, behind our final door, <laughs> we have our 10,000 watt gen. This is significant. You got three ACs on this Spire. You can run all three air conditioning units, your microwave, your stove, and you're not gonna worry about tripping a breaker because if you do trip a breaker, you have to pull over and reset it there. So it's nice that they've put in a generator big enough to handle all the functions of the house. All right, before we go inside, I wanna tell you a little bit more about the 44B uh, floor plan, which this coach is. First of all, the 44 stands for the length of the coach and the B is the floor plan. The B happens to be the most popular selling coach in the Aspire. Now you have three ways that you can get into your coach. Obviously, you can use the key. Secondly, you've got your code here that you can uh, pick your own code so that you can give access to your coach, to your friends, to your family members if you're away. And it's nicely lit here so you can find it. And then obviously you can use your key fob to unlock it. Now, if there's one thing I want you to remember today from what I have to tell you is that Integra is the only manufacturer that has a two-year warranty. So they really put their money where their mouth is when they're standing behind their product. Before I walk in, I just want to note that we have a great little drawer here for the dog leashes, you know, dirty, muddy shoes, whatever, but it's a nice little option to have. Then we have our main power switch so you can hit that as you're coming into the coach or leaving we have the step power so once you're at the campground you don't want your steps to keep going in and out every time you open the door so you'd hit that switch so the steps would just stay out or come in when the door shuts uh, the step light another nice option so you can see what you're doing when you enter the coach and then we have our master light switch so if we hit that lights out and to turn them all on we have under the slide out light our motion our motion detector light entry ceiling our porch light security light and our awning for the driver's side and the off driver's side and our cargo lights Another item that contributes to the coach being the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market day period are the air secure locks. So when you release the park brake, there's a, this little notch here is going to slide up into there to secure the door and make it a nice tight fit. So I'm going to have someone here re release the brake for me and that would slide up and secure in here to give you a nice, tight, secure lock on your door. At the same time that this is locking, it also happens in the pocket door leading into your master bathroom. The driver and passenger seats are six-way powered, flex steel seats with lumbar support. So you have a little hand control here for your armrest. Just push that up. And then you have your controls here. So forward one, backwards two, up three, down four, five is your forward tilt of the seat, and six is your caboose tilt. <laughs> so those were all your controls for your seat. You're going to love this tilt steering wheel with integrated cruise control and wiper controls. I'm going to give you a few other hints while we're here at the steering wheel. First, our friendly passing lights. So if you're driving at night and a trucker has passed you and want to let him know that he's in the clear to go back into the lane, you're just going to hit your headlight one time here. That lets him know that it's, he's safe to move back into the lane. Now, if you want to pass a trucker, he will signal to let you know that you are safely past him. Once you are back in your lane, you're going to hit your marker lights three times to tell him thank you. Just common courtesy on the road. Next, let's go over the wiper controls. I know this seems like it's pretty obvious and self-explanatory, so press this button 
once for low, press it again for high. Then we have this little extra bonus button here. This is your intermittent adjustable um, control. So push it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you can set that to any interval that you'd like. You also have your windshield washer fluid here that you can wash off your windshield when necessary. Okay. Lastly, we have the high idle light for when you want to air up your coach quickly. Now I like to do this in the campground to let everyone around me know to watch out because I'm gonna burn rubber on my way out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, I do do it all the time though at NIRBC when I am going on a test drive and I want to air up the coach quickly. So I hit the on button for cruise control and the set button. The high idle light comes on and the RPMs go up. All right, we're going to cover this left hand panel here. We have lots of switches and lots of controls. So the first one is a new switch. It's your pet safety switch. Now, I've never referred to my kids as pets, but I think it will work for them too. This will keep you from letting your furry friends or little children accidentally kill power to the coach. We have our docking lights, left, rear, and right docking lights, so that as, when you're pulling to a campground at night, you're gonna be have that area around the campground illuminated when you're backing in. We have our air horn here. Now we have the wussy air horn, or we have the Tim the Toolman Taylor air horn. That one's way better. <laughs> okay, then we have the pedal slide retract and extend. So I can adjust the pedal to where my foot's comfortable. Obviously, that's going to make your driving a lot more comfortable and safe. We have our map lights which you can have on on off or auto we have our tag dump i usually leave this on auto at all times that's why that's so anytime i'm in reverse my tag will automatically dump if i'm going to make a tight turn or u-turn then i may need to dump my tag i'll just depress the hold button for about 10 seconds and you can hear that air releasing that will keep you from scrubbing your tires we have the battery boost. So if your chassis batteries are low and you're not able to start the coach, you can depress the battery boost button. It will draw power from your house batteries and help you start the coach. Now they added this nice toggle switch for your engine brake so you can easily find that and you have a high, low and off setting. Here you have your menu select. So this is for your trip information. So you just depress that to get to the information you want and then you can scroll through all the information on your trip. We have our day and night driver shades and our passenger shades day and night. Our remote controls for our mirrors and the mirror defrost. We have the new illuminated cup holders. We have one here to the left and one to the right. And here I've got one for my Diet Coke, my Red Bull, and my Monster. I can drive all night if I want to. Headlights markers. So you have them on or off. You have your panel lamps. You can go brighter or dimmer. Fog lights, accent lights, and your hydraulic leveling system. Okay, we have our Allison transmission here. 3000 six-speed R for race, haha, ha, just kidding. R for reverse, neutral and drive. Then we have our display here. We have our radio, media center, Sirius, Bluetooth, HDMI, camera, our nav system. And then we have a really cool camera here below. We can go to our left, the right, 
rear view, and then in rear we have normal, horizon, and hitch view. Our AC and heat controls, our gen start, so we just hold this down, start the generator, 12 volt, HDMI port, and three USB ports. Now this is a small detail, but it's a big one. You can see that they've really upgraded the quality of this drawer. It's a wood drawer, it's on two rails, it's not flimsy and rattly like it used to be. Now I want to cover some of the functions of this cabinet. So first we have the Morningstar remote meter. While this monitors several power related functions, I'm gonna cover just three. First, it monitors the amperage coming in from your solar panels. Second, it provides you the charge of both your, the, or the level of charge of both your house and chassis batteries. And third, it tells you the temperature of your batteries. Then we have the energy command, system, um, energy command 30. This is your auto gen start. This will automatically start your generator and it charge your batteries when they're starting to get low. It will also turn off the generator once your batteries are fully charged. And you can preset your temperature with your AC unit so it will turn on and off as you have set it to do. Here is your power control system. This will let you know what, your, what power you're hooked up to. This system won't let you overload your available power. It automatically recognizes whether you're plugged into 50 amp, 30 amp, or running off your generator. Let's say you're running your generator or you're plugged into 30 amp service. It's going to watch the status of these items right here and it's going to automatically shed the load to control whatever you have enough energy to operate. So it would automatically shed the water heater, the rear AC, the front AC, and the mid AC and it would turn those off as necessary. Here's the power control for the entry door awning, your front slide out controls, the control for your Girard integrated awning. And in 2018, they upgraded from the 2800 watt inverter to the 3000 watt inverter. The inverter does three things. It inverts DC to AC and AC to DC. And that has nothing to do with one of my favorite groups, AC-DC. <laughs> it also charges and it passes through the current. Here at NIRVC, the inverter is one of the most important readouts in the coach. We instruct all of our porters here at NIRVC not just to plug in the coach and walk away, assuming that everything is okay. We always look at the, we always have them come and look at this inverter to make sure the coach is charging before we walk away. Otherwise, you're gonna come back and your coach is gonna be dead. Now over here by the driver's side, we have the inverter box. So. Everything in this box runs off the inverter. So we have the refrigerator, microwave, kitchen, living room, bedroom, cabin, dash area. If it's not in this box, it runs off, off of shore power or the generator. All right, now let's get serious and let's talk about electricity. All right, all we really care about is that it runs our air conditioner, our curling iron, and our blow dryer. <laughs> no, I know. When we are RVing, electricity is very important. So let's cover that now. Notice the resettable breakers. And then everything in this box runs off of shore power or your generator. So you have the basement, the dryer, stove, the middle AC, your rear AC, fireplace, front AC, water heater, washer, and bathroom. So let's talk about 50 amp service. We use it all the time as RVers, but it's really just an RVers term. If you were to talk to an electrician, he would come over here and he would see that you have main leg one and main leg two. Main leg one has 50 amp service. Main leg two has 50 amp service. So even I can do that math. 50 plus 50 equals 100. So we have 100 amp service coming into the coach. All right, remember when I told you that one of the things the inverter does is passes through current. So when we are operating these items here, whether we are plugged into shore power or running our generator, we have a 100 amp service coming into the coach 
going down into the basement, which is where our inverter is located, passing through and coming back to the inverter box. As it passes through, it charges our batteries. Now, if we were to unplug from shore power or turn off our generator or simply trip our breaker here, none of these things would operate anymore and we would be operating solely off our batteries through this invert through the inverter and we'd only be able to run these items refrigerator microwave kitchen living room bedroom and cabin dash area all right if you're still watching if i haven't bored you to tears i have one more little electrical tidbit that i want to pass on to you so let's walk outside and we're going to talk about the plug okay now we're really getting serious <laughs> So when you get to a campground, we're here at the National Indoor RV Center Indoor Campground. Um, you want to go to your breaker and look at the reading here. You want to make sure you have 50 amp plus 50 amp and that they're tied together. That way you know for sure you've got the 100 amp service going into your coach. Okay, so now I want to talk about the plug itself. So here we have leg one. 50 amp service with 110 volts, leg two, 50 amp service with 110 volts, your ground and your neutral. So obviously this is where you plug in for 50 amp service. If I were to take off this little plastic cover, you'd see that you have two little brass clips that you're basically plugging into. With lots of people coming in now the park, those clips are gonna spread apart in time and you're not gonna have as tight a connection. So what happens a lot during the summer months, we get a lot of calls where people think they're losing power in their coach. What happens, they've come in, they've plugged in, they go back to the coach, turn on the, on the AC, there's a huge load out here and the voltage drops and they think they've got problems in their coach. Most of the time, nine times out of 10, the problem is right here at the plug. Okay, one more thing. I wanna go over this plug here. Obviously, this is your 30 amp plug here. So now we're going from 100 amp service to 30 amp service. So we're losing 70% of our power. So don't think that you're going to be able to run the same amount of items on the 30 amp service. Another thing about the 30 amp service is this plug looks exactly like our 220 in our homes. Um, so I'm going to tell you this story because I don't want it to happen to anyone else. I actually had one of my customers this year, sweet little couple, they bought a brand new coach, took it out, went to their friends or family members, plugged their coach into a 220 outlet and they fried their whole coach. So that's too much power for our coach and I don't want that to happen to anyone else. So just one of those things as a reminder, a little tidbit for Ange. There's a lever right in here in the front of the seat that I'm gonna pull and I can easily walk the chair around here. So this is gonna add another, or a recliner basically to my living room. So I'm gonna ease back and then find the right control. Boom, you have one of your two recliners in your living room. On our way to the passenger chair, make sure that you don't miss the overhead TV, 32 inch Samsung LED TV. In the passenger chair, the first thing you want to do, obviously, is put that step cover out. So, simple button right here to your right. Gives you a nice floor for your feet. And then you've got the same controls on this chair as you had on your driver's chair, along with the footrest, which is always nice as you're going down the road. You also have <laughs> the day and night uh, shades. So you can put down your day shades if the sun's in your eyes. or the night. You have two USB outlets, your lit cup holder, two 110 outlets, and then what I really like is here, you've got your manual controls for your shades. So you can do a, a blackout shade, or you can do the 
if you can reach it <laughs> the day shade and you have that for your window separate from your door so you can do both of those manually here at the multiplex lighting panel i want to go over some of the features so you have the center ceiling entry ceiling side ceiling and you'll notice that they have the up and down arrows anytime you see an up and down arrow you'll know that that means the light is dimmable so you just simply press the button and then hold and the lights will adjust bright and then go dim now we have a button here that says motion p plus h so this is on three uh, panels one at the entry door here in the living room and then in your master bedroom this controls the, the security light outside so if you press it once you're turning it on so that it's motion censored so if someone walks by your coach at night it will sense that motion and turn on the security light the p plus h means push and hold and if I do that, it will turn on the security light and it will stay on. Welcome to the lovely living room of the Aspire. So I've turned around the captain's chairs. So this gives us a lot of seating, creates a very nice living room. This is the silver cloud interior with the Tuscan cherry wood. Typically in the 44B, you have a standard option of the L-shaped sofa. We went with the new option of theater seating. So you have three powered recliners here. So you can simply sit down, push of a button, the rest comes up and it also reclines. So now the challenge is just to stay awake while you're watching your movie. Well, it's a challenge for me anyway. Um, another nice option is the storage container here. So it's very deep, has a little tray, but you can remove this tray completely as well. Great spot for your pillows, your books, Anything that's cluttering the area when your guests come over, you can just throw in there. You also have your remote for the fireplace. So simply at a push of a button, turn it on. Another option will give you different flames. So you can set the mood that you want. Also, you can control the temperature. So you can have no heat coming out of the fireplace or you can you know, have this warm up your living room really easily. We have the 50 inch Samsung. LED HD TV and new for 2018 is the Samsung soundbar. We have our storage area with our Blu-ray player beneath the TV here and they've added the extra secret storage area behind each leg of the fireplace. I love when they give us extra storage. Notice the beautiful porcelain tile floors throughout the coach. Our dinette unlocks and extends so you can easily get four people at a dinette and you've got two extra um, folding chairs. We have tons of space. We have a pullout drawer below and big drawer there. Notice the, uh, all the counters have LED lighting underneath them that is dimmable as well onto our kitchen we have the pull out countertop so that gives you a lot of extra counter space to work with stainless steel appliances beautifully backlit again like i told you nice hardwood cabinets the pull out tray so you don't have to stand on your tippy toes and reach to the very back of your cabinet to get your canned goods, they just pull right out for you. The Spire has the Whirlpool micro convection microwave oven and the Furion induction cooktop. We've opted this Aspire with the dishwasher. This is an option. And I don't want to bypass my favorite part of the kitchen. Spot for your garbage. I love that that's tucked away and you don't have to see that when you walk into the coach and a place for your sink covers. We also have the Whirlpool refrigerator freezer with ice maker on the front. Gotta love that. And then we go.
go to our beautiful pantry. Tons of space, adjustable shelves. You don't get that in every RV, so this is a huge bonus in, in my opinion. Note here that we have the multiplex lighting system. So you have three different, well, you have four different paths to the coach. One in the front of the coach, here midship, in your bedroom, and in the bathroom. So you just push of a button, you can turn your lights on, on and off throughout the coach. Here we are in the 44B with, in the bath and a half. We have nice porcelain toilet, great cabinet space, and medicine cabinets, which is always great. And then we have our air conditioning unit here and our control panel with our fuses. So everything's labeled nicely. You don't have to sit there and, you know, get out the manual to find out which number corresponds. It's all written out there very nicely for you. We have our aqua hot system, so you can turn on your diesel aqua hot from inside the coach. Your C level two tank monitoring system. This is the redundancy that Integra always has. So we have that SIS monitor here. We'll also have that in our wet bay outside. And then we can extend and retract our bedroom slides from the bathroom. Before we head back into the bedroom, I just want to point out that we have the max air fans in both the bathroom and in the kitchen. So those are powered and have the rain sensors on them. So they'll shut if it starts to rain. Moving into the master bedroom, one of the things that I really like are the beautiful privacy doors that you have. So you can just pull that shut. I think it's beautiful. I love the detail that Integra adds there with the door. Another great thing with this door is that it, there's an airlock on it. So when you put the coach into drive, it, it locks the door into place. So it's one of those things that contributes to the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market day period because you're not gonna have that rattling as you go down the door. Over here we have our 32 inch LED Samsung TV and behind it, voila, door number one, we have our safe and our Blu-ray player and a little extra storage space. Great amount of countertop space here, nice drawers really get a lot of storage. Then we have our beautiful king size plush pillow top foam mattress. We have a nice mattress there and storage below. You also have USB and 110 outlets on both sides of the bed. Note the ceiling fan. Everyone wants the ceiling fan. So we have the ceiling fan here with controls underneath the bed and we have our reading light that you can adjust where you need that light and it's simply push button to turn on and off. All right, huge new feature for the bathrooms in 2018. They added the medicine cabinets. So we've always had beautiful mirrors, beautiful cabinetry, but now they're actually useful. So look at all of that extra space. Isn't that wonderful? You guys asked for it and Integra delivered. So you just have tons of space for all of your toiletries, medicines, you name it. Then we have nice deep drawers here. So huge improvement on the bathroom. I love the countertops, how they're seamless. Sink just goes into the countertop. We have the great closet. Lots of hanging space, folding space, washer and dryer. So you can easily just set your laundry basket here, take the clothes out of your dryer, bam. We have the porcelain toilet that's just push button in the master bathroom and the glass enclosed shower. It really is a nice size. And I love to have a little step or seat in the shower so I can easily shave my legs or sit down if I need to. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the 2018 Aspire. There are eight different floor plans for the Aspire. So if you don't like this one, I've got several other options for you. You can visit us at nirvc.com or give us a call. If you like this, enjoyed this video walk around and you'd like to see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe.